we're going to look at just a few plays um, that, that hopefully will exemplify what a, uh, a good football player Tavon Young is and, and, and perhaps uh, shed some light on, on why the Ravens kind of moved on re-signing him. They trust him. That's the first thing. He's a good football player, uh, very instinctive. You can see the play fake over here. Well, the Panthers are trying to run these mirrored routes here with these rubs uh, to get their outside guy, guy free. But the play is clearly designed to Tavon's side here. Um, he's sniffing this out right away. And you can see uh, the guard has leaked out. His job is to get on Tavon, but he's not going to have a shot at that. Not even close. We can see the, the receiver breaking that ball inside and just Tavon. I, I think the, the thing about him is he plays with an, an abandon, but it, an, an abandon, but it's with a co real controlled abandon. I, I think that's film study. That's my guess is that he really understands formation film study. He, play, he also plays really, like I said, it's with an abandon, but he's, you'll, you'll see. He's always under control. This is the, the sort of control uh, that I was talking about. You don't see Tavon in this play, but I want you to watch Roethlisberger's eyes, and then we'll go back and look at the All-22. He's clearly looking to that side of the field, and uh, he's got an idea about this guy here, 84. You see him even kind of pump that. That's where he wants to go. Um, let's go back and, and look at, at what we see. You see Tavon over this slot guy, and um, I just want you to see how controlled, how comfortable he is. Um, the slot guy being Antonio Brown. <laughs> you can see both receivers run right at Tavon. Antonio Brown and this tight end. <laughs> and look how competent and comfortable he is in assignment. Passes him off and sticks with uh, Brown. And as we saw you know, from the previous angle, that was going to be the hit. That's where, Anto uh, th that's where they hoped uh, to target underneath. And so I just want you to see how controlled he is there and how comfortable he is in zone coverage um, and just in playing the best receiver in the game, or one of them. You can see him here again in the slot uh, in this off coverage with Schuster, and he makes a play on the ball. Um, watch his eyes. Watch him watch Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger has got both, you know, his shoulder, his front shoulder pointed away from Tavon at this point. Keeps an eye on the receiver. As soon as he sees him come into that break, before even Roethlisberger turns around, as he starts to sit down, does Schuster, you see Tavon breaking forward. And watch where Roethlisberger puts the ball. He puts it to the outside shoulder here towards the sideline. So he's got to get around him and get way out in front and just makes a play on the ball. Watch that again. The Ravens' corners are, are very, very good against the run, and Tavon is definitely uh, right in there. Um, love his alertness here. You can see his eyes in the backfield. Uh, this corner, or excuse me, this slot receiver's intent is to get him away from the edge um, by working inside. He's going to block him or attempt to, but that's what he's trying to do there is pull him inside. Um, and if Tavon falls for that, uh, there, that the edge is going to be free for uh, Kamara. Um, well, just watch how instinctive he is here. He does not even <laughs> look at that receiver. And he secures the edge. He has to, he forces Kamara to come back in and trips him up just enough there. So if you don't have a, a, a guy who's that willing to tackle and make the run, uh, make the play against the run, if you don't have a guy that, that's in, that, that is that instinctive, that good a football player, you see him try to break down in space there and then dive and make just enough of a tackle. Uh, that's going to be a big play. 